Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be setting up my week in my hourly planner. I am going to be using some stickers from my shop and also this Rainbow Collection sticker book. If you wanted to get 10% off of this sticker book, you can use my link in the description box below. And we are going to be setting up this week, which I think is like the second to last week in May. So I'm going to flip over to my schedule section and we are going to be setting up the week of the 22nd through the 28th. And y'all know I absolutely love colorful boxes. So when I saw this sticker book, I thought it would be perfect to use for this spread. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull my black pen and set up my dates. Let's start off with my sidebar. All of the colorful boxes in this book are so incredibly pretty. I think I'm going to choose the green color. I really like this green. Yes, I think I'm gonna do the green color to decorate my entire spread. So let's do my sidebar first. I like to start off with my YouTube schedule at the very top. And I'm going to use these little icons for my YouTube schedule. I just like to use additional functional stickers. I think they really bring out the spread. And as y'all can see, I'm really trying to post more. So, we will see how this goes. <laughs> and here I will list out additional things that um, I might not have a set time for, but I do need to squeeze in this week. So I'm gonna try that out this week because last week I did my meals, but I didn't really use this at all. I was just mainly using my uh, daily sheets to kind of tr keep track of what I was eating. So I'm gonna try this out this week to see if this works out better. I'm always looking for ways to make my planner a little bit more functional and if I'm not using a section, I will try something else. This Monday, I have a client appointment. I also have a meeting at my daughter's school. Okay, so now that I've added all of my big appointments for the day, I'm going back in and adding in the little things. So we're gonna put my AM routine here. just forgot that I have a dinner meeting. So I'm going to wipe this out because this meeting is actually out. It's at a restaurant. So let me So as you can see, there's a pattern to my mornings. I will do my AM routine for about two hours and then I have the first thing that I want to do for the day for about two hours. So I will alternate each day. Usually I will start off my day with orders or I will start off my day with filming. I will do that for two hours and then I have time set aside for client meetings and other things that may need to be going on. Then usually if I have to go live on YouTube, YouTube around four o'clock or post to YouTube around four o'clock it will happen around here but the pattern to my days are basically the same and then at five or six I'm off for the day and then I might go to dinner with my friends or I might have something to do for church and so I will list all of those things out there so the pattern and the ideal week remains the same this is why I always teach to have an ideal ideal 
pattern or an ideal week that you would like to set up. So then that way it's much, much easier to plan your week. And if you didn't see that video where I talked about having an ideal week, I will link that one above. Okay, so this is the first half of my week. It is all scheduled out. I like to put all of the big things that I have going on each day in the colorful boxes. So that's how I decided to use these. I also use my green highlighter on my sidebar here um, and some additional functional stickers. So let's move on to Thursday. We're gonna plan out the rest of the week. white space here and I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to be doing some filming but in the evening I have client meetings. I am also doing a video podcast for Organize You members so I'm going to send out that podcast then and in the evening I do have an event. It's a collab with another creator who's really talking about money on her platform. Now, I leave my Fridays pretty open for a lot of admin work and kind of catching up. So that is what I'm going to put here is just admin, which means I might be doing some financial catch up where I'm looking at the finances for my business or looking at my personal finances or clearing out my inbox. Anything could go under here. It could be client follow up. I have a bunch of different things that I could do in this area, but Fridays is the time where I can kind of have a lighter schedule so I can catch up. Here's what my week looks like. It is a lot of colorful boxes, <laughs> but I do like it. I think it's different from what I would normally have. So this is kind of like my normal setup where the colorful boxes are a little bit smaller, but this week they are a little bit bigger because these are my colorful boxes and then the ones in the sticker book are much thicker. They have a thicker brim. Um, I like both of them. So I feel like I'm set up and ready for the week. So the last thing that I'm going to add before I close this one out is the weather. So I have been using my weather sticker apps in order to keep track of what the weather is going to be like in the upcoming week. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that is it for this one. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you use my link in the description box, you can get 10% off of these colorful boxes within this sticker book. And you can also receive a discount code from my shop if you put in Tom YouTube on my Etsy shop for a discount off of my planners or my stickers. So I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, keep organizing your life so you can achieve your dreams. Bye, guys.